When you first load Project 2013, you will see this screen with a lot of options on the right side of the screen on how to create a new project. You can choose from either creating a new project with options from the right or on the left side you might see a list of recent projects if you have already opened project files earlier. For this lesson, I am going to load an existing recent project file like so and we can look at the backstage view. To enter into the backstage, you have to click on the file tab and by default the first tab info is shown. The info tab is where you can get high level status about your project and make related changes. This is a convenient place to reference the location of your document and copy it to the clipboard. You can also view and edit key properties of your project here. For example, you can click on the status date to directly edit inline. We will look at this in more detail in subsequent lessons. The new tab brings together a number of ways to start a new project file, blank new project, many types of online and offline templates, new and existing projects from Excel workbook or from SharePoint task list. These are all different ways in which you can start a new project file. Print tab combines print preview with changing common print settings, providing a convenient all-in-one interface for printing. The open tab lets you browse your computer for existing files and also project 2013 is now integrated with Microsoft's OneDrive cloud-based storage space. You will be required to have an account to use this feature though. Let us look at the export features available. To share project details with stakeholders, you can create read-only versions of your project in PDF and XPS formats. XPS is a Microsoft design format that is functionally similar to PDF and needs an XPS viewer to view it. Options tab takes you to the project's options interface where you can control the behavior of the entire application. While we will keep returning to the options dialog box several times in this course, there are a few options that control the backstage view and we will look at them now. First, click on the advanced tab. Go down to the group mark display. And here we have an option marked show this number of recent projects. By default, this is marked to 25. And you might choose to change it to your convenience and screen resolution. The next option is more interesting called as quickly access this number of recent projects. I will turn this checkbox on and when I return to the backstage, voila, at the bottom of the left side, I can see four of my most recent projects available as single click links. This is a fast and convenient way to keep returning to the projects that you are working on. So, in conclusion, you can get familiar with backstage very quickly and it's full screen view that is very convenient.